What's going on, Liquidation Gang? It's your boy, John, at Liquidator, coming back with another video. As you guys seen from the title, this is my top five entrepreneur list and the introduction to a new segment on the channel called Entrepreneur Breakdown. In this new segment, I'll be going over a lot of entrepreneurs, life story, how they got their fortune, and where they are today. But with that being said, let's jump right into this video and give you guys number five on my entrepreneur list, and that is Elon Musk. At the age of 12, he created a video game called Blast Star. He then sold that game for $500. In college, he dropped out just after two days of attending to create a company called Zip2 Corporation. This company helped local businesses get to the World Wide Web and expand their company. It was a complete success. By 1999, he sold that company for $300 million. But he didn't stop there. He created a new company called X.com. But we all know this company today as PayPal. And by 2002, he sold that company to eBay for $1.5 billion. And also in 2002, he created SpaceX. And we all know today, SpaceX work hand in hand with NASA, taking people to and from space. But in 2003, he started his greatest company ever, that's Tesla. Tesla was created affordable cars and electric cars and also guys to help with worldwide pollution with the network of 265 billion and the world's richest human as of today Elon Musk man is number five on my entrepreneur list Elon Musk great guy great entrepreneur but let's keep it moving Go to John the Liquidator, number four, top entrepreneur on my list, Jeff Bezos. One of his first jobs was actually at McDonald's, guys. In the early 90s, with the start of the internet, he had quit his current career and started selling books online out of his garage. And by 1994, he started Amazon. And in 1995, his gross sales grew all the way to $510,000. He also wanted to sell everything online. And he knew in the back of his mind that the internet was really going to boom one day. But in the year 2000, his company took a turn for the worse. And he hit rock bottom. And later that year, he actually had to take out a $2 billion loan against his own company. But by the end of the year, things start turning around and the company sales finally picked back up. And in the meantime, he started a new company called Blue Origin. Blue Origin was a space company that was set to take humans to and from space. And by 2015, he did that. And it was a complete success. But in 2007, he released one of his greatest creations yet, and that was the Kindle. The Kindle was a tablet that you can read books on with the click of a button. And by 2013, with the already huge fortune, Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post. And today, Jeff Bezos run the largest shipping service in the world with the net worth of 151 billion Jeff Bezos is number four on John the Liquidator Entrepreneur List. So right into it, give you guys number three on John the Liquidator Entrepreneur List, and that is Steve Jobs. Apple was created in 1976, and in 1981, he had a record-breaking stock offering and made the Fortune 500 list by 1983. But in 1985, things took a turn for the worse, and he was fired from his own company. Later that year, he created a new company 
car. Next Inc. That was a company that specialized in workstation computers. And in 1986, he bought a company called Graphics Group Division of Lucid Films for $10 million and turned that company into the company that we know today as Pixar. And in 1995, he released Toy Story and earned $192 million to add to his already large fortune. And in 1997, he finally returned to Apple and then sold next to Apple for $429 million. Talk about getting some get back. But in 2001, he released one of his greatest creations, and that was the iPod. But by 2003, he created a music station store called iTunes. And iTunes forever changed the music industry. And in 2006, he sold Pixar to Disney for $7.4 billion. And in 2007, he released the world-renowned Apple iPhone. And in 2010, he released the iPad with a net worth of $10.2 billion and a well, well, great entrepreneur career. Rest in peace to the GOAT. Steve Hope Jobs. Hope you guys are enjoying the content so far. And I'm giving y'all some insight on these great entrepreneurs. And I'm also going to be doing a life story on each person that's on my list. Giving you guys their entrepreneurs breakdown. But let's keep the segment going. Give you guys number two for John and Liquidator. Entrepreneur list. And that is none other than the great Andrew Carnegie. One of Andrew Carnegie's first job was working for a telegraph office, delivering telegrams by bikes. And at the age of 17, he mastered that job. But later on in the years, he was drafted to the Civil War, but never went because he paid his way to get out. Talk about jumping ship, man. But on his way leaving, he noticed that all the bridges was made of wood. And he thought, man, they could burn down real easy. So he came up with an idea to make bridges made of steel. And that idea will forever change his life. Later on, he started his first major company, Keystone Bridge Company. Then he didn't stop there. He also started a company called Iron Mine. And that company created iron to make those same bridges. So now, at this point, he just started three companies in less than a five-year span, iron mining, bridge building, and a rail selling business that was selling rails to the train stations. And then, he didn't stop there, he also started a steel plant. The steel plant was created to build skyscrapers. But not only did he make the steel plant company, he hired a fleet of employees. And he worked those employees 364 days a year. The only off day was on 4th of July. And the reason he did so was so he could beat out competition. And guys, when I tell you this guy had a work ethic, he didn't care about nothing but getting the job done. Andrew Carnegie is one of them type of dudes, man. He soon on thought of a way to replace the workers with machines because with machines you didn't have to worry about giving them an off day hell they didn't even have to go to sleep and with that being said with the net worth of 475 million at the time of his death translate that over to today's dollars he'll be worth 400 billion Andrew Carnegie man is number two Oh, John the Liquidator, Entrepreneur List. Moment, we all been waiting for. Who is number one on oh, John the Liquidator, Entrepreneur List? This guy that I'm about to tell you guys inspired me so much. I built my whole B 
business model around this man. I try to emulate it the best I can. I cannot. The guy I'm talking about is my greatest, my favorite. He's my goal. This guy is Sam Walton. At the age of eight, he started selling magazines. That was his first job. Then he started his first business by seventh grade. And by the end of that school year, he made $5,000. And by the age of 27, in 1945, he opened his first store, Walton's Five and Dime, with his wife. But something that he thought about as years went on to grow his company, he thought about multiple checkout lines. He thought about customer service. And not only did he think about customer service and multiple checkout lines, how can we please the customer when they check out? He started giving customers free ice cream at the checkout line, guys. And you wonder why Walmart's so big today. These are the steps you gotta take to be successful. Let's get back into it, guys. In 1962, the first Walmart was built. And he only focused on rural areas because most of his competitors went to all the big cities. But he knew in the back of his mind, it was a whole lot of money in those rural areas. A net worth of $8.6 billion in today's money, Sam Walton is my GOAT, my favorite entrepreneur. And to me, he could not be duplicated ever again. Walmart forever changed the world as we know it for its retail. And that's why Sam Walton is my number one entrepreneur. I really hope you guys enjoyed this content. I'll be giving you guys a breakdown for every person that was on my list. If you guys are new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you guys like this content, click a like on this video. But it's been fun. It's been real, and it's your boy John the Liquidator. Check it out with another video. Peace.